Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How is everybody today? For those of you who have never caught me live before, my name is Jewel, and I'm a grateful recovering addict of eight years. I will celebrate God willing nine years clean in August of this year. Just wanted to get on really quick. I'm going to read the gist for today. I'm going to talk a little bit about an event I have coming up in April as well. Let me just invite a couple people on here really quick and then I'll get started. Oops. If you have never caught me live before, please feel free to say hello so I can welcome you. Um, if you are one of our regular viewers, feel free to say hello. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, hey! Oh, Sean, we get to see it today. My lighting isn't as well because, you know, obviously because it's snowing, but, um, this is all the hair, guys. This is it. I'm hoping that if I, um, braid it, continue to braid it at night, that it'll, like, train itself to just, you know, look like this. Um, my biggest problem is that I can't start up really high. Like, if I could French braid from here back... I think it would probably look a little better. Um, thank you, Shira. Um, before I get started, I'm going to put the link to our group. This is our Breaking the Chains community. Get out. Get out. Get out. Sorry, guys. Of course, he comes in now, you know, because... Sorry, guys. Ugh. Okay. Sorry about that. So, anyways, I... Pinned the group, um, Breaking the Chains, is Joe and I's community group that we have. 70 in Florida, keep the snow. You asked Josh the other day if he was sharing. Sharing what? Sharing the videos? Not usually. Um, yeah, it's snowing here in Maryland, and um, it's actually just started where we're at, but apparently it's been like snowing all night in other places um because my mom was actually supposed to fly out of bwi this morning and they've canceled the bwi and she ended up going to i guess duels over on the other side of dc um and they've canceled over there as well so now she's gotta wait so anyways um for those of you that are just coming in my name is jewel and i'm a grateful recovering addict of eight years i will god willingly celebrate nine years in august of this year i'm gonna read from the gist for today Today is February 20th, <clears throat> Powerlessness and Personal Responsibility. Oops, trying to wave to everybody as you guys come in. Um, through our inability to accept personal responsibilities, we were actually creating our own problems. Basic text, page 13. When we refuse to take personal responsibility for our lives, we give away all our personal power. We need to remember that we are powerless over our addiction, not our personal behavior. Many of us have misused the concept of powerlessness to avoid making decisions or to hold on to things we had outgrown. We have claimed powerlessness over our own actions. We have blamed others for our circumstances rather than taking positive action to change those circumstances. If we continue to avoid responsibility by claiming that we are powerless, we set ourselves up for the same despair and misery we experience in our active addiction. The potential for spending our recovery years feeling like victims is very real. Instead of living our lives by default, we can learn how to make reasonable choices and take risks. We may make mistakes, but we can learn from those mistakes. <coughs> Sorry, guys. A heightened awareness of ourselves and an increased willingness to accept personal responsibility gives us the freedom to change, to make choices, and to grow. My feelings, actions, and choices are mine. I will expect accept responsibility for them. And I actually touched on this a little bit yesterday um, when I was talking about higher power. I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but um, I was talking about when Joe and I had done a live video about, uh, who knows what it was, probably the just for today, but it was talking something along the lines of, you know, our higher power and God and things like that. And Joe has always been one of those, like, I pray for everything. I pray for, um, I pray for peace. I pray for serenity. I pray for, um, strength. Um, I pray for all my family and friends. I pray for all of you guys. Um, I, I literally pray for everybody in this world every night. Um, 
and Joe, you know, he said when he prays, he doesn't pray every night because he feels like, you know, it's his responsibility to take care of his own actions, you know, um, and I feel that way as well, but I've just always, I mean, I've prayed for a little over a year now and it's not funny, but I only remember because I started praying when my mother-in-law was in jail. Um, and that was October of 2017. So I've been praying for about 16 months, I guess. Um, I prayed early on in recovery and not that I didn't believe in it. I just somewhere along the lines of life, I just stopped doing it. Um, and when my mother-in-law was in jail, I don't know what it was that like resonated inside of me that got me to start praying again, but I did. Um, and I've been doing it literally every day since. So, you know, I pray for peace and strength and, uh, serenity and, you know, obviously to watch over us, you know, there's like, I feel like it's like a general prayer more or less. Um, so anyways, that's not necessarily related to what we were talking about, but so does anybody have, um, anything they need to talk about, anything they want to share? Um, that's really all I have for you guys today. I did want to let you guys know, for those of you who are local, I'm hosting a recovery awareness event called March into Recovery, and it'll be April 13th from 10 to 2. So if you're in Maryland um, and you're on the Eastern Shore, please feel free to stop by. I'm really excited for the event. We have a lot of great things planned. Um, we're going to raise money for Midshore Restoring Hope in Women, which is a local nonprofit that serves all of the Eastern Shore. What they do is they help fund women get into recovery houses. So, like, if somebody calls and they're like, hey, I found this recovery house, um, but I need help with my deposit or first week's rent, you know, that's what they take care of. Um, and I partnered up with them kind of in the middle of last year. Um, and I'm actually really excited because they basically do exactly what I wanted to do. So, instead of me having to go out and start my own nonprofit, I can just work with them with the one they've already established. Um so that's what I'm doing. I have made it a personal goal of myself to raise $5,000. Um, and I wish I had done the numbers for how many women that would help because that might help you guys. Um, let's see, last year, I can't, 150. If anybody has a calculator up, okay, Shira, you, can you tag me in the comments so I know where they're at? Um, Basically, so for those who don't know, generally speaking, in the state of Maryland, um, for a woman to stay at a recovery house, the average goes from one twenty five to one seventy five a week. So my goal was to raise five thousand dollars, and I wish I had done the numbers. What I did do the numbers on was if everybody, if two hundred and fifty people, no, if five hundred people donated ten dollars, I would raise my goal. Um, so don't ever feel like if you know if you're not local, you can still donate. Um, and I've put the link to breaking the chains in the, mm -hmm, in the comments, but I'll also, let me post their website. Um, because if there's anybody not local that wants to donate, you can donate right through their website. Um, and there's some more information and in kind of what they do on the website. So if anybody would like to feel free to do that, um, what's 29 weeks left in the year? Hardly. So, um, anyway guys, so if you feel like you want to donate five, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, whatever you can do, I have put their link to their website in the comments. Feel free to do so. Um, if you're local, I hope that you'll come out and meet us. Um, I haven't decided on who the speaker is because I'm torn between speaking myself, telling my story, or, um, having Kathy and Sherry from Midshore Restoring Hope of Women kind of share why they got started and, and, you know, where they're at. So... I don't know if any of you can hear the boys screaming in the background, but I can. So I'm going to go. 175 a week. Oh, 5,000 is 29 weeks. So we could do it a few different ways. Um, $5,000 would pay for 29 women for one week, which is awesome. Super, super awesome. Um, but I have to go now because the boys are crying. So thank you all for listening. I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow. See you later.